Spain is taking aim at dirty butts, cigarette butts, and they found a great way to pay for it. Here's that and more on this week's Good Climate News. Number one, there's a potential way to kill PFAS, AKA forever chemicals. Scientists were able to kill 95% of PFAS in samples of tap water in just 45 minutes using hydrogen and UV light. PFAS are a group of human-made chemicals used in consumer products that have been associated with health risks like cancer and birth defects, among others. They are called forever chemicals because they don't degrade in natural environments and last thousands of years. Now, the study only focused on two kinds of PFAS, but scientists are trying to find ways to scale up the technology and target all kinds of PFAS in larger amounts of water. Number two, the EPA rolled back yet another Trump era regulation. In the new rule, the EPA restored protections for hundreds of thousands of bodies of water in the US that were left open to possible pollution thanks to the Trump administration. The rule basically defines which types of US wetlands, lakes, and rivers receive federal protections under the 1972 Clean Water Act and are thus eligible for programs that work to avert oil spills and sustain water quality, among other things. Now, there's definitely a lot more work to do to guarantee access to safe water for everyone, but it is encouraging to see the government take the right steps to protecting our health and the environment. And number three, Spain is holding tobacco companies accountable. The Spanish government is making tobacco companies pay to clean up the millions of cigarettes that are littered across the country. Cigarette butts are the most common form of marine pollution, and they contain microplastics, which have been found in our food, water, air, and even our bodies. The ruling, which also requires companies to bolster consumer education on how to properly dispose of cigarettes, is part of a group of new environmental measures aimed at cutting down on waste and increasing recycling. Another key part of the package is a ban on certain single-use plastics. There are so many good climate news stories out there that this list could go on and on. But I want to know, what are you paying close attention to and what do you want to hear more of? 